The base, and this is why I will spend more time telling y'all about physicalism, because no other metaphysics does to you what physicalism is doing. And if you don't understand what you're, what you're involved in, what the nature of your predicament is, you're never going to get out of it. Uh, Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, she didn't understand the nature of her predicament. She didn't understand the nature of her predicament. And so if you don't understand the nature of your predicament, you're never going to get out of it. Physicalism is cosmological bleach. It does not facilitate a narrative. It does not facilitate a narrative. Like I gave you the example from, um, what was the guy's name? Uh, was it John Lennox? Was it John Lennox? Damn, what was this nigga's name? Yep. Nailed it! This guy, John Lennox, he gave this example one time. I think it was, it was brilliant. Uh, okay, I have water boiling in the kitchen. Why is the water boiling? From a physicalist lens, okay? We'll put that physicalist metaphysics on there. Well, the water is boiling because the heat from the flame is exciting the water molecules. And as they begin to vibrate faster and faster, they experience a shift in phase, which causes them to move from liquid to gas, creating the bubbles in the water and the steam that rises up. This is how most of you frame and define what is real. The issue with that is there's no you in any of that description. There's no you. The way, scientific, the way the scientific method has been working is that you take the experimenter, the you, out of the experiment. And that's what makes it more correct. Here's another way of explaining why water is boiling in the kitchen. I wanted to make some noodles. Both of them are correct. Which one has a you in it? Which one can you fit yourself to? be so fucking simple.